How does aluminum react with water? Have you ever wondered how aluminum interacts with water? This is a fascinating topic that combines chemistry and material science. Aluminum is known for being a highly reactive metal, but its reaction with water is not straightforward. The reason lies in a protective layer that forms on its surface. This layer is made of aluminum oxide and acts as a barrier, preventing aluminum from reacting directly with water under normal conditions. However, if this oxide layer is removed or does not form, aluminum can react quite vigorously with water. The chemical reaction can be represented by the equation. Two aluminum atoms plus three water molecules produce aluminum oxide and three hydrogen molecules. In practice, though, the reaction often leads to the formation of aluminum hydroxide instead. The correct representation for this scenario is two aluminum atoms plus six water molecules yielding two aluminum hydroxide molecules and three hydrogen molecules. To make this reaction happen, certain methods can be used. For instance, using gallium can dissolve the oxide layer, allowing aluminum to react with water. Another method involves pre-treating aluminum with mercury chloride. Both techniques enable aluminum to produce hydrogen gas and aluminum hydroxide when in contact with water. This reaction is particularly interesting for applications like hydrogen production, which is a clean energy source. In the realm of material science, understanding aluminum's corrosion resistance is vital. The natural oxide layer provides significant protection against corrosion. However, if this layer is compromised, aluminum can react rapidly with water. This knowledge is essential for designing systems that involve aluminum in contact with water. Engineers must ensure that the protective properties of aluminum are maintained to prevent unwanted reactions. In summary, while aluminum is reactive, its interaction with water is largely controlled by the oxide layer on its surface. When this layer is intact, aluminum remains stable. But when it is removed, aluminum can react vigorously, producing hydrogen gas and aluminum hydroxide. Understanding these reactions is important in both chemistry education and practical applications, especially in materials science.